Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to go over editing a photo with the high pass filter. The high pass filter is used for a couple of things. It can be used for a type of advanced sharpening and it can also be used for isolating an image and it's also used to achieve a type of editing that's quite popular right now which is sort of a grunge hard light sort of look. So this tutorial is going to go over changing this picture into something that looks similar to this. So the first thing we want to do to this image is duplicate the background. That's done with Control J. Now we see we have layer 1 and background. Now we want to create layer 1 as a grayscale image. So go up to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. We don't need to do anything fancy to this grayscale, so Desaturate is good enough. Now here's the high pass part. Go into Filter, Other, High Pass. So the way the high pass filter works is it finds contrast areas in the image and then puts them in this grayscale image. And the radius setting here determines how far Photoshop looks at the nearby pixels to see if it is contrast or not. So if we set it at less than a pixel, everything turns gray because the pixel beside every other pixel is basically the same color. If we set it at 75 or even higher, we basically just get the same image we started with because if we spread out 250 pixels, you can see there's a wide variation in the contrast, so it'll say, yes, let's make this darker black and white. So pick something somewhere in the middle where you have sort of a hard edged look like this and that you can see your image. If you just select something that's gray like this, you're not going to see any change in the high pass. So depending on your size of image, this will vary. I'm picking, let's say, around 70. Click OK. Now to merge this into the background and get our effect, you select a blending mode from here. My favorite is Overlay. Overlay uses uh, a dodge and burn technique and creates a higher contrast image but preserves the highlights and the darks. Other filters such as hard light is also popular to use and I can show you the difference between the last two. So almost the same. The hard light blending mode is a little bit of a harder look. It doesn't preserve the highlights and darks but it produces a just another look some people may like. So once you have your blending mode set, go to opacity over here with this layer selected and bring it down to zero. Now since this layer is zero opacity, we're just seeing our background. If you're not sure how layers work, check out a layer tutorial. And then bring opacity back until you see the image start to change. Opacity is how see-through this layer is. And so bring it up until you think you've gone a little bit too far and then bring it down. It's easy to overdo this filter so take it easy. You can check out your changes by pressing the I here and let's say I like that and then I also like to use a little bit of desaturate with this technique so I'll click on the adjustment layers and add a hue saturation layer and pull the saturation down perhaps around there and that's all you have to do. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.